Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement au oh Dieu, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Hello, my brothers and sisters. When I'm writing my, my, my preachings here, many thoughts go through my head. And yes, today I will share some of these thoughts with you. Most of you, when someone speaks about peaceful revolution, might directly think about India and about Gandhi, or maybe Poland, Lech Walesa, the Solidarność Union, who precede the fall of the Warsaw Pact and the end of the European Communism. These are two very good examples of uh, really peaceful revolutions. But let me tell you about another peaceful revolution not so long ago. There was a country called Persia, and the Persians, today called Iranians, brought the Shah regime peaceful to fall. The Shah killed and let shoot many peaceful unarmed protesters through the army and his very famous secret police. Khomeini organized a peaceful revolution with those so unpeaceful Muslims, with those Muslims so many people think are not able to bring uh, changes with peace. Yes, those terrible Islamists have peacefully demonstrated and at the end one million of them were standing in the streets of Tehran. Opposite to them, the army with the rifle at the ready. Check it out, it was 1979. Google picture Tehran 1979 and you will watch this. The protesters, they only said, now you have to shoot us all. We don't move. We are here. We stay here. And after this, the army realized, oh, fuck, they are really serious. They are ready to fight for their freedom. After this, the army retired back to their barracks and not a single shot has been fired. Not a bullet. Reza Pahlevi, he had to flee. He took his wife Faradiba, some suitcases of cash and up to Egypt. Yep, outlawed and hated by the whole world he went to his exile, his exile palace. Until he died. He died in a golden palace, in his golden whirlpool. Uh, this is for the Occupy Wall Street protesters as example how to take down a corrupt, unjust government by peaceful demonstrations. Yeah, Khomeini had dispelled the Shah and the Iranians were angry because the Americans had supported the dictator until the end. And on the other side the Americans, they were also pissed because all these beautiful American weapons and the oil wells were now in the hand of Ayatollah Khomeini, a religious fundamentalist uh, religious leader. And Muslim, yeah. Yeah, Muslim. The Muslim are these people who are taking their religion serious, which for Christians is unconceivable. I mean, Christian and taking their religion serious. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Two weeks ago, when the Pope was in Germany, and all these young Catholics who came especially to cheer the Pope, what do you think? How many of them really paid attention during the night in their tent camp what the Pope teaches? At such gathering, the content is not important. Important is only the event, everything what's around. For the content, you can forget about it. 
As Catholic, you have to be part of this because this man, this Pope, is a pop star. Where is the real difference? Let's take Justin Bieber, Heidi, this uh, white cross-eyed opossum, and Pope uh, Benedict XVI. Where is the difference? All pop stars. So imagine in a zoo, in the monkey house, you put the pop inside there to throw poo on people, and you take Justin Bieber on the balcony in the Vatican in St. Peter's. For people this would be the same thing. For people this would be absolutely the same fun. In both cases they would only say, oh look how sweet. <laughs> From my own Catholic Jauf gatherings I know there were always more people coming back from there than went there. <laughs> and this for sure. And how many priests do you think come back from such events and have illegitimate children? Some priests has even two or three illegitimate children. This is not a problem if everything like the rape in the Catholic Church is under the carpet. I know in every diocese is a slush fund to pay for these children. Yes, everything is paid by the diocese. Clothes, scholarity, uh, everything. Food, everything is paid from this slush uh, fund. And there is no exception. All diocese has to have this slush fund for the priest in legitimate children. Why, why do you think they don't want to make their finances transparent and, and, and open for everyone. The Catholic Church would be bankrupt by paying all this alimony if not half of the clergy were gay. <laughs>